Okay, just wanted to do a quick review for you. This is a vibrant um, one-way valve. We're using this in our fuel system. And this we're doing as a review because um, there's not a whole lot of information. So we have a very clever, uh, or what we think is very clever, uh, way to utilize a pusher pump plus the factory stock lift pump. So if there was an event of a fuel pump failure uh, from our electrical lift pump, that the mechanical pump would be able to suck through the existing electrical. Uh, Walboro 392 is what we're using. Um, so what we did is we have a bypass installed so we have 8AN stuff all the way around. It comes out of the filter assembly, goes into the wall bro, but there's a parallel line using this guy right here, um, or the idea of this guy. The problem is uh, that this guy says that it's rated to 300 PSI. It's got a little rubber check valve inside, and within 15 seconds of startup, it had already pushed that through, and we didn't know it at the time, but it had already pushed the little, you can almost kind of see it in there, pushed that little rubber check valve through, and our fuel push pressure went from 60 down to uh, about 5 or 6. So anyway, this guy, probably great, it looks good inside in terms of flow. Um, it is diesel compatible, according to Vibrant, what they told us, but... This is not compatible with high pressure. So it doesn't matter what it says. We were only using between 60 and maybe 80 PSI on this system, and uh, it, it blew it right through. So we hope that helps. Um, if you're looking for a check valve, this is a... you have to double-check this. I believe this is a 1119... And what we're going to try next is a Vibrant, this is a different style, but a Vibrant 1118, which will have a ball check valve instead of a flapper style. Anyway, hopefully that's helpful to somebody out there, and we'll talk to you all later.